What's up? This is Aaron from Aaron'sGuitarLessons.com, and this is how to play The Wonderful Cross by Chris Tomlin. And this is a very pretty and pretty easy song to play. Um, so let's first attack the uh, verse and see what he's doing here. The cool thing about this song is that through the entire verse that he sings, you really don't change anything. You just pretty much hold out a D. This song is in the key of D, and we're going to be using all the D chords. So let's talk about this first chord we can play. Um, there's going to be two ways we can do the verse here, and I'll explain both of them. First way is we can just hold a D chord, and let's do it without the major third. So we're going to mute out the top and play 0, 0, 2, 3, mute. And if you want to get even uh, more or less of a D chord, play nothing on the top, 0, 0, 2, and then mute out the first two strings. So you're just playing three strings. Or you can play the, the other D I, that I showed you. I prefer the one that send, sounds less. So we just have you know low A, low D, and then a higher A. All right, the strumming pattern you can do for this verse is one and three, four and two, three, four and. All right, a little bit slower. One and three, four and two, three, four and. So it's a two-part strumming pattern. So we're going to do it in eight counts, but you have two parts of four. So you basically have just the D that you're holding out through the entire verse. All right. So we have. Survey the wondrous cross which so what you can do is another thing is just follow the voice pattern that um, that he's singing or that you're singing when you play the song with some lead stuff. Um, so what we can do here is start on a D, which is the seventh fret on the G string, third string, and play mute out the top, and just play the fifth and fourth string open, the A and the D, and follow this with your voice. So we're going to play a D on the seventh fret, and just move up nine, eleven, and twelve, and we have pretty much the notes we need here. I Alright, if you listen to the recording, it has kind of a low guitar or a bass guitar playing that rhythm. So you can play the lead part to the vocal and it kind of helps out, you know, rather than just playing that low D the entire, the entire verse. Alright, so let's see a close up of that and what we can do. Alright, so for the vocal part, if you want to follow the lead guitar with the vocal, Start on the 7th fret, 3rd string, and just play the 5th and 4th open, and then play your 1st finger. Then we'll follow just the D major scale, which is whole step, whole step, half step, and that's pretty much all you need for this song. So you have 7th, 9th, 11th, 12th, and then the only other fret you really need is the 6th fret. So we have a D, E, F sharp, G, and your C sharp or D flat here. Alright, so we have two um, really cool options that we can play for the verse. If you want to keep it simple, just play the D, and if you want to change it up a bit, maybe you're, the only thing you have is an acoustic guitar and you're playing it for church or something, maybe add the lead in there, okay? Or if you're playing an electric guitar with a band, definitely add that lead part in there. Alright, so, brings us to the chord progression to the chorus. Oh, the wonderful cross, oh, the we're going to start this chorus on the G spin of 2. We're going to play this by playing 3rd fret on top, mute out the 5th string, 
play zero, two, three, and mute out the first string. So G suspended two, down to a D over F sharp. We're gonna play this by playing two, zero, zero, two, three, mute the first string. Another chord we have in here is an E minor seven. We're gonna play zero, two, two, zero, three, and mute the first. And then our last chord that we need to play in this course is that A suspended. We're gonna mute out the top and play zero, two, two, three, mute the first string. All right, so the chord progression is the G, suspended two, to the D over F sharp, G suspended two, to the D over F sharp again, down to the E minor seven, back up to the uh, D over F sharp, to the A suspended. Minor seven. Walk it back up to the D over F sharp. A suspended to end the course. If you want to start the course over again, it's back to the G suspended two. Oh, the wonderful cross. All right. So the strumming pattern we need to know for that. Um, just like every song, the strumming kind of varies from time to time. If you're having trouble getting the strumming pattern. This is uh, just a simple strumming pattern you can add in that will get you through playing the song. So we can play one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and. All right, a little bit slower. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and. All right, so another two-part strumming pattern. We have two beats of four, which makes it one long uh, strumming pattern of eight beats. And we're going to play that strumming pattern just like that. We're going to kind of accent different parts. So maybe on the second and fourth beat of the first, one, two, three, four, and one, and two. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and so accent those those certain beats that you need to that kind of fill in maybe the one and three or however however you're playing it to to help you uh, find the groove of that song when you're playing it with a band or by yourself. So the strumming pattern in uh, the course with a chord progression: one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two. 